Our Lord himself teaches that grace exerts no interior compulsion, but invites free cooperation. Quote, if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. This has been made part of the church's uh, baptismal rite. The exhortations, promises, and threats uttered in various portions of Holy Writ would be meaningless if it were true that grace destroys free will. And this is a point that St. Augustine makes. Because scripture admonishes us to do good and to avoid evil, there is obviously, evidently, a free will in man. But because scripture enjoins us to pray, to ask these things of God, then it necessarily means that we need grace not contradictory, but by the way, this is a very Protestant thing. For Protestants, it's grace versus free will. It's faith uh, versus, um, uh, grace versus free will, grace versus our cooperation with grace. Uh, It is uh, faith uh, versus um, uh, works. It is, what else? Uh, Bible versus tradition. In other words, the things that God has joined together, Protestants typically tear asunder. V- 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 Protestantism is a religion of divorce. And, and we don't just see it in their outlook on the sacrament of matrimony. We see it in the way that they approach some of the greatest mysteries of our faith. They divorce these things. This is something that was born out of the the nominalism that was prevalent in the days when the Protestant revolt happened. But for Catholics, we join together all of these concepts that God himself joined together. Um, All right. Now, um, also, we have the teachings of St. Augustine and St. Bernard that Father uh, Poli quotes quotes in this book. Here's a quote from St. Augustine. To yield consent or to withhold it whenever God calls is the function of one's own will. Later, for the freedom of the will is not destroyed because the will is aided, but it is aided for the reason that it remains free. I'm going to read that again. When I studied this with Brother Francis, Years ago, this stuck with me, and when I, when I, this particular quote from St. Augustine, uh, which is from one of his epistles, epistle number 157, uh, this is what really gave me the, the, the notion to give this talk. For the freedom of the will is not destroyed because the will is aided, but it is aided for the reason that it remain free. In other words, for the will to be truly free, it needs help. For the will to be truly free in the supernatural order, to be able to operate in that sphere which is above our nature, we need to have God's grace. Far from being a limit on freedom, far from from contradicting human freedom, it enables human freedom, it empowers human freedom, it it, it allows it to, to function.